Now to an I-Team exclusive. Not only is there a shortage of mental health care in New York State, now there's a shortage of psychiatric care for adolescents. And it's allegedly causing conflict and crime in part of Westchester. And that has residents demanding a solution. News 4's Melissa Russo has the story from Pleasantville. A scary situation for a Westchester driver in this video posted on a public Facebook page. A distressed teenager jumps in front of her car and refuses to move. Get out of my way! He asks her to kill him. It's not the only recent incident, and residents expressed concern at a hearing last night in Mount Pleasant. This isn't fair. This teen is one of dozens with serious mental health issues, increasingly being sent to live here at the Pleasantville Cottage School, run by the nonprofit JCCA. They're very sick kids. Teens who are schizophrenic, suicidal, and possibly even homicidal, according to the program CEO, Ron Richter. We are not not licensed or funded to provide the level of care to children who are psychiatrically sick the way we have them now. The cottage school is supposed to be a residential home offering therapy to kids in foster care who've suffered abuse and neglect. But now they're dealing with fights, threats, even suicide attempts, serious incidents involving more than 30 of their kids in the past six months. A small percentage of their residents detracting from the care they can give other kids who are meant to be there. Like this 14 year old who celebrated his birthday today. The staff are not permitted to put their hands on the children, lock doors, or force them to remain on campus. Recently, we were there seven times in one day. Earlier this year, a 17 year old from the cottage school terrorized the neighborhood here on Virginia Lane after walking onto this private property and stealing a neighbor's chicken. This student was on our street with one of our chickens in his hand, eating it alive with the neck in one hand and his body in the other, feathers and blood everywhere. It frightened the neighbors, it frightened me. But according to a complaint filed with the state, it never should have gotten to that point. JCCA says in the day before he ate that chicken, they brought the teen who is schizophrenic to Westchester Medical Center three times, but each time he was discharged. First, after he broke a window screen and a staffer's car mirror on campus. Second, after climbing the fence on Virginia Lane and brandishing a rake. He was banging on the fence saying that he wanted to hurt someone. Third, after he left campus again and returned to the property, that's when he grabbed the chicken. If you could see him the way that he was eating my chicken, it was clear that he had a mental illness because he had a blank stare on his face and he had no idea that he was doing something wrong. But even after the incident that left a family traumatized, the hospital again declined to admit him, according to the complaint, which adds that he kept talking about acquiring weapons, expressed an intention to kill his peers while they were sleeping, and take his own life. We can't seem to convince psychiatric emergency rooms that our kids should be evaluated. In a statement, Westchester Medical Center said they cannot comment on specific cases, but added that no person in need of physical or behavioral health treatment is denied care at their hospitals. The JCCA would never say stop sending us kids, because at this point in time, Melissa, there's no no place for these kids to go. Why not? A new federal law limits the time children can spend in residential care, so a lot of programs have closed. The pandemic made mental health issues worse, and the state has cut adolescent psychiatric beds in recent years. JCCA wrote to New York State, saying if they want them to care for these kids, they should set up a program that's equipped to do it. But Richter says they've been waiting months for the state to take action, hoping another, even more serious crime does not take place. Look at the New York City subways. Look at what happened in Buffalo with young people who have documented histories of mental illness. God forbid, it's already happened. New York State did not respond to our request for comment. In Pleasantville, Melissa Russo, News 4, New York.